everybody, this is David from davidoutdoorphotography.com. Today I'm going to go over the Decline Reload Backpack. Um, I've done a recent video on this, but it just didn't come out very well, so this is the new revised version. I've been using this backpack now for a little over two months, and it's an excellent bag. If you're looking for a low investment, but a bag that's going to be able to carry all your photography gear and videography gear, um, I do definitely recommend this. So I'm going to go over this real quick and give you a look. Now, this is the size of the bag, and I'm going to bring out my Crumpler $7 million bag for comparison. As you can see, a messenger bag is quite small. Um, this is a large backpack. Now, I stand pretty tall, but even for myself, this is a pretty large backpack, but once again, this is what you're looking for to carry all of your photography gear in one bag. This is going to be your go-to bag. So this is my bag where I keep most of my photography gear in at all times. And then I'll take it out and put it in my crumpler bag for when I'm going to an event or if I'm doing some light duty shooting. So this bag though is a great bag. We'll go ahead and start with uh, some of the exterior features. First feature is you'll notice is that you do have straps here. You have some straps here and straps here. What those are for is to actually hold tripods and for many photographers, you may be carrying one to three tripods. This can hold three tripods, two on the side, one on the front. And to do that for the sides, they give you um, extra mounting uh, brackets and whatnot to hold on your tripods. So we're going to go over this bag and we'll start with the interior compartment. Here's the interior compartment. As you can see, you place your DSLR here. I have a uh, taking out the shelving units that come three on each side. On this side, I place uh, my microphones and my videography equipment. On this side, I place my um, camera lenses. Uh, now, a 24 to 105 fits perfectly flush, but you're not going to be able to fit anything much larger than that. Maybe a 24 to 70, um, and I shoot with Canon. So, 50 millimeters prime lenses fit great in here, but you will not be able to have a telephoto lens unless you place it upright here in the center column. So. If you're just a still photographer, you can see that you could carry two large telephoto lenses if you'd like to do that. So here in the bottom, you have waterproof mesh plastic interior pockets. You also have a pocket for your ID, for some um, business cards possibly, and some pens. And we'll go ahead and do a quick overview right now of what you can fit in here. Um, through that, I go ahead I'm just going to throw in my lenses real quick, and I'm going to throw in my cleaning equipment, my second camera body, my flash, accessories for the iPad, flash accessories, memory card reader. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of uh, photography equipment, but this is just a small capacity of what you can do here. So, moving on with that, as you close the large compartment, you have very large zippers, so don't be afraid to break them. You also have a second compartment here. This can fit a 17-inch laptop. So if you're looking to carry your laptop as well, this is going to be the bag for you. Up to 17 inches, it has a large capacity in there. I usually place my iPad or a 15 inch MacBook. We have here on the very back of the bag, small compartment here, great for day accessories such as a timer, flashlight, or uh, charging. And in here, large rear compartment has the mesh lined zipper bag in here and you can go ahead and place whatever you like in there. I haven't used this compartment much except for storing of lightweight items such as a cleaning kit. On the bottom of the bag is where you're going to find the rain gear. A full protective rain gear bag that goes over the entire bag. It's here located on the bottom. The bad thing about it being directly on the bottom and not having a hard plate is that the bag doesn't really sit straight. But once you have your equipment in there and it weighs it down, it's not too bad. Here on the sides, pockets. 
And another pocket right in here. This side has a pocket that you can turn into basically a monopod pocket. This comes out, you can zipper it, water bottle, monopod, and attach it up here. And what I really like about this bag is that here on the front, they've gone the extra mile for detail. Now, you see you have straps here, which can adjust how close the backpack is to your body. And you also have hooks so that you can hook something onto the front of your uh, backpack. Main breast strap to keep it tight. And then the best part is it has hiking straps for around your waist and waterproof lined zipper pockets with hooks on the interior so you can uh, place your memory card, your memory card pouch, um, lens tissue, cleaning cloths, microfiber cloths, or what have you. So it's an excellent addition. And once again, very large backpack from Dekine. It's the Dekine Reload. I just purchased this two months ago from Amazon. Excellent backpack and it can hold all of your photography gear. So thank you for watching. Take a look at davidelderphotography.com for more information and product reviews as well as my photography. So thank you and stay tuned for other bag reviews in the future as well as other camera product reviews.